Quarterback, quarterback of the Washington Redskins. As a United Way volunteer, I'm asking you to join our team to help contribute to the kids that need our help the most. And you can be a volunteer to take some kids to a football game. Give and volunteer today. Call 202-488-2000 or go to unitedwaynca.org. Hey, kids, what about it? I'm Sonia. I'm Kate. And I'm Avon. And today we're dishing with you from the Prime Rib, located at 2020 K Street Northwest in Washington, D.C. And I'm excited to introduce you to a Hollywood celebrity. <laughs> oh. Finally, we get one. Uh, finally, wow. a Hollywood celebrity. You can know all about Los Angeles with our new guest today, Janina Gabankar. The reason I get to say her name is because she's my sister. So welcome, Janina, to the table. Thank you. We're so happy to have you with us. So actual Hollywood celebrity. Okay, mine are local celebrity. And okay. that's weird coming from you, so let's just not do that's that. That's true, because I know all your dark, dirty secrets. Pretty much. Because we share a closet. Ooh, good share them. Nice I don't know. Let's just, just out with it. Come on. No, so here's here's my question. is You've been in Washington for a couple of days, and you come back and forth every so often to, to work on your music stuff, which we can get to later or not. It depends. But wondering, what, what do you like about Washington? What's what uh, brings things, you please. here? Good things. Or bad things. I'm okay with the bad. No bad things. I know bad things about Washington, D.C. Um, I like D.C. for, well, D.C. has been a part of my life since you, you know, moved here, moved here. when you went to college at American University. And it's always been this kind of like grown up place. <laughs> For me, that makes sense. Yeah, because and you know, I take Los Angeles is like that's where my little sister lives. <laughs> that's where the immature people are. So, what does LA think of Washington? Oh, I can't speak for all of LA. Make a generalization. Yeah, a make gross a general. Let's let's only speak in gross generalizations. Yes, because tonight. we've let's heard a number of things that LA thinks about us, okay. and we want to know just from your mouth if if you think that's really true. <laughs> no, do you think that that people here don't have any style? Because we think they do, and we've heard that that's what you guys think. Is it true? Hollywood, use struggling guys. people, use Washington. Guys. Use guys. guys. Use guys. Well, us guys. Um, I don't know. Is there really it's bad not. shopping? Because I think but we have what, all though, the same stores the you have. Fashion in general thinks that LA has no fashion. So oh, that's right. I, would, I, would, I, would, I mean, like, I was at LA Fashion Week, and I was like. Some of this is not even finished. Like, what, what am I looking at? I mean, you <laughs> know, so there's that. But uh, look, <laughs> the fashion industry is generally snobby. So I don't exactly know where they exist or what city the fashion industry really comes from. Milan. Because you can say it's Milan. New York, and then they'll, then Milan will say no, and then you know Paris will say no, and you know. Well, I guess that's a good point. In, in the United States, just separating out all of Europe, well, where is it? But let me ask you this: Would you ever be caught dead in a pantsuit? I own a pantsuit. Oh, she owns wait, a pantsuit. Wait, wait, oh. did you take it from a show? <laughs> yes. Was it, what show I was it? it? I wore it, I bought it for an audition for a show. What or show was what it? Show? Uh, Were you playing show that we will not talk woman? about because... Oh, because you didn't get it? <laughs> okay, never mind. Well, let's talk about a show, let's talk about a show that you're on right now. Okay. Um, there's a show called The League, which is a very funny show on FX. Uh, it's all improvised, and it's really So there's no really script, kind of like this? There's exactly, exactly. Anything could happen. But it's a lot of men. <laughs> jazz hands. <laughs> yeah, you jazz hands. It's you backwards. know that was going to happen? You didn't know that was going to happen. See, that's what See? improvisation is. All... Yeah. Improvisation. Yeah. Okay, so so where where so is the whole thing is unscripted. They don't even give you a scenario and no, say they this do. is what you need to They do. About? They say this is your name. These this is who you're related to in this little story. This happens. This happens. Go. Sounds like where I work. You could be giving acting lessons. Yeah, I know. Let's I go. Let's be. do a scene. Ready? Right now. Go. Um, you, your name is Avon, and you are at... His name is Avon? Friday. Is he selling makeup? And, and, I don't know. Um, Hecklers already. And you are in a restaurant. This is hard. Okay. This is hard. It's gonna, we're going to go deep. You're in a restaurant where they have prime rib. Work, work on that. Take a second. Breathe on it. Breathe on it. I'm a vegetarian, therefore I will have the arugula. Okay, with yes. With goat cheese. Yes, great. Would you like chives? No, I'm a vegetarian. If you're a vegetarian, you're allowed to eat something that comes from meat. That's some good acting. Well done, well done, well done. You are hired. Ah, thank you. Now wear this pantsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Hillary Clinton pantsuit. 
I don't even know where to go from there. <laughs> what are we talking about? Next? When Grenade. did you decide that you wanted so. to be an actress? An actress and a singer, but an actress. When did you yeah, decide well, you I was a be musician actress? first. I grew up playing piano and percussion, and I um, sang opera. So oh, wow. first, yeah. And um, then I was like, I can't even sit through an opera. How am I gonna? sing opera for the rest of my life. That's not going to work. So uh, somewhere in high school, I was Maria in West Side Story. Oh, oh good part. Every brown good girl's part. dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I really did actually have that magical moment when I was somebody else. Yeah. And um, it kind of changed everything. And I went, oh, no, I want to be an actor, not only a musician. What do I do? But most people, I think, do the high school musical, and then they're like, I can be an actor, and then they move to Los Angeles, and you didn't do that. <clears throat> no, I... Uh, How'd you know? <laughs> How do you know these things? I did you read my your, Wikipedia I journal? <laughs> been, I totally been, read about you on yeah, Wikipedia. Yeah, she's, she's been researching. For years. What, what, advice would you, what advice would you give to a young, aspiring, somebody Anything? in high school? Artist who was, in general? Anything. Artist in general, yeah. yeah. Um, Would you make study. the leap jump right in? Uh, study? It's a little of both, honestly. Study, study, study. Uh, an arts education is really what you put into it. Um, and it's a lifelong journey. That sounds really... Yeah, that's lame. Yeah, but it's true. I mean, I'm never going to stop trying to be a better artist do you in general. Have, do, you have any, uh, particular, um, do, you, do you have any particular favorites in terms of what type of role you'd like to play? Dramatic, comedic? Dream parts. Dream okay, parts. What, would be, what would be your dream part? I want to play Meryl Streep in her life story. No. No, that would I don't be think weird. that's going to work yeah, casting. Right. That'd be Why? Color black, Is it color black brown? Black. Why you got to be racial about it? That's what I want to know, Kate. Yeah. Come on. That'd be horrible. I was going to say you you're, you're, you didn't have the same nose. Yeah. Oh. But wait, yeah, but nice Nicole nose. Kidman didn't have the same nose as... Uh, Early Nicole Kidman. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Well done. Yeah. Ouch. Um, uh, let's see. What's going on here? <laughs> you're, you're, like what dream part. Right. What dream yeah, part? Dream part. Yeah, dream part. I don't really have a dream part. I have a dream career. That's a good way to put it. No, sounds like a political answer. Right oh, well, I am in D.C. So. Let's get a I'm little learning. contentious a while you're here with us. i got to ask you. <laughs> okay. You're, you're on the L Word. I was, yes. You were on the L Word. Yes. What, what was it like to... I'm assuming that you are not... My sister's a heterosexual. And assuming that you are not a homosexual, what is it like to play that? I and love, you, have a, I love you loved it. I love how you just asked me that question. It's very Washingtonian. It's very. Uh, we have to so. ask. I mean, I always wonder. So can you, you really... could you could also just say, so you were on a show where you played a gay person. Are you gay? Are you not? Like it's cool. You could just ask me anyway. Which way? You're not what? homosexual. But you played it yes, very very well. Hey, thanks. So um, how did you get in? How did you? Get How ready I, for that role. Well, <laughs> the, the thing that's hylarious about that show and, and how the media looks at us as actors on that show is, is really funny because I get asked that question instead of what was it like to play someone who is not from the same uh, like childhood, didn't have the same childhood. I, I, played, I played someone who was Hispanic, mm -hmm. um, older than I was, uh, much more promiscuous than me. Uh, and just also is gay, but like there was so, and is athletic, and all these things that were so not me. But the thing that I get asked the most is, what, was what it like? is it like to play someone who's gay? And it's yeah. really no different than playing someone who's very athletic. Yeah. I mean, it's I just acting. I can see that. I can like, see that. You know, you know what though? Ever since Neil Patrick Harris came out, um, I don't look at him any differently before on How I Met Your Mother. Thank you. Because, Good. You know, That's cause, what we like to hear. No, because no, initially I thought I would. And I thought when that came out, I'd be like, hmm, how can I take it seriously, the fact that he's chasing, chasing women, but in reality I know he's, he's not interested. However, I do realize he's acting. So, acting. all that goes in. And then the jazz hands. <laughs> yeah, jazz hands. The jazz hands come. <laughs> Well, thank you for agreeing to be not so political with us here in the political city. We're so glad you came and that we can learn, 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 learn a little bit about our, our friends from across the country. Our, from the left coast. From the left coast, the exactly. Left coast, yeah. Thanks Very so left. much. Thanks and as for having me. Thank you for joining us here on this episode of The District Dish.